Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. This is installation of Dentrix G4 um, workstation. Um, we already have our connection to our server, our map drive here. You open that up. We're going to go into our Dentrix folder and in Dentrix 11 it was right here in setup but in G4 it's in the data folder. And then the installs folder G4 then run the setup application here say run to the security and run again and it will start the installation um, we are actually installing this on the Windows 7 machine it, the installation for XP is fairly similar um, there's I would say in G4 there's a lot of uh, prereqs so if you you know it's a new machine out of the box you probably will have to download or it will install a bunch of things uh, the good thing is most of the prereqs are kind of fairly automated um, like this one right here, you can see it's running. Um, And uh, another thing to point out, that folder right there, there's a prerequisites folder right there. Um, if you ever need to run one of these individually, um, you can come in here. Sometimes I found when uh, you're having like an error when opening up chart, um, that's where most of these plugins are working for. Uh, sometimes running in .NET again or DirectX um, will kind of correct some of those issues. Alright, looks like we're ready to go here. So I have read the following steps. Yes. Uh, yes, I want to continue. Accept the license agreement. And you have a couple of options here. Um, yeah, I, we're just going to do the front office installation here. And I usually like to do advanced. I like to see what's going on. So the top one here is where it's going to install my computer. There's where the data is, and this is where my docs are. Um, both of those, the data and the docs, should be uh, on a map drive. They should be on your server. If for some reason you can't do a, uh, a merger, you don't have your docs, then you're probably looking in the wrong spot. Um, so now the installation is going. And now we just get to watch the bar go across. get our icons here. It's a good sign. About done. And some more third-party plugins. The journal viewer. And if you do not have Adobe Reader like we don't on this machine, it will it will prompt it. Or if you do have an older version. So if you do have uh, Adobe X uh, Reader, then um, this usually this part usually won't come up. Uh, media player 9 and you get this message if you do it on Windows 7 because it already it, it has a newer version than 9 um, you can just kinda hit cancel and, and it'll continue on uh, I got DirectX kinda run through the installation Alright, 
that's finished here. Uh, QuickTime. Again, another thing if you already have installed, maybe you have iTunes on your machine which comes with QuickTime, uh, then you won't see this install. And then Guru. Um, it's a trial version, it's not a uh, full version, you actually have to purchase that. Um, finish and I like to remove a lot of these icons you don't actually need the shortcuts for that unless you're new to G4 I get rid of the starting guide and you don't actually need a shortcut to Adobe Reader if you open up a PDF it's going to choose the reader uh, next is uh, usually you know you want to open it up <coughs> make sure everything works um, I'm gonna go ahead and say register later this is not a, a real copy here so Okay, we got our appointment book. That's good. And the other thing you need to make sure you do is set your printer. So in the Office Manager, uh, you want to go to File and then Printer Setup, and then select your printers from the list. 